What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Omar. I'm back with another video and uh, today we're doing a reaction video to Michael Chi on Comedy Central. This is a while back. Well, actually not that long, about not even a year ago, a couple months ago. Yeah, requested clip, so pretty funny guy. Let's not waste no time. What's up, Boston? How you guys doing? Wow. This is crazy. I love Boston. Now, this is the second time I've been to Boston in like the past month. And I love it, because the first time I went, I went to a place I've never been before. It's called Southie. Yeah. Where the hell is that at? a white ghetto. <laughs> I've never seen a white ghetto in my life. It was amazing. I saw a white lady steal a bike. <laughs> she was wearing a helmet. It was amazing. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen, man. This is, a, this is cool because this is like a dream come true for me to do comedy, you know, for so many people, you know. I've been listening to Juicy a lot to get inspired. <laughs> you listen to Biggie's Juicy? It's like the greatest song of inspiration ever, you know. I, it's weird, though. It's not the same song as when I heard it when I was, like, 12. Because there's a line in there when he goes, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. When I was dead broke, man, I couldn't picture this. That's like $300 worth of merchandise. <laughs> it's not a lot of money, man. I've been dead broke my whole life and I've had a second Genesis. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a Super Nintendo, but I could picture it. It wasn't like... <laughs> but it's fun though, it's good because it's, you know, like if I wasn't doing comedy, I don't know what I'd be doing, you know? I don't know what I'd be doing. It wouldn't be good. I try, like I would try to get a regular job. It's embarrassing. I have to like lie on my resume. You know how humiliating that is? You ever lie so bad on your resume that you can't believe you didn't get the job? You wanna go back to Foot Locker, like really Foot Locker? Who the f you hire that has eight years mayoral experience? Oh shit. And a degree in physics. Who is this amazing? Shoe salesman. It'd be like that. I don't have a degree. I didn't even go to college. And I'm glad I didn't because I do this, so I don't have to go to college for this. And all of my friends that went to college are in crazy debt. Like, real debt. I got a friend that's $80,000 in debt with an English degree. I learned English for free. <laughs> this is the first thing I learned. It was the first thing I learned. And I talk to this dude every day. I understand everything he's saying. He doesn't know a special kind of English. He doesn't talk like the Game of Thrones. It's just regular English. And you know what he does for a living? He teaches English. Because that's the only thing you can do with an English degree. It's a pyramid scheme. Thanks. I do like uh, doing comedy, though, because... I gotta pay taxes, that's the worst part. That's the worst, you ever paid taxes? I've never paid taxes before. It's an awful feeling. I've had taxes taken, but I've never paid taxes, and that's two totally different things. But when you have taxes taken, you get a job every week and they just take the taxes out of your check. They just take it, you don't get a choice. They just take it, and they keep taking it to the end of the year where they're like, hey, I think we might have took too much. <laughs> Here's $500 back, go buy yourself some sneakers or something. <laughs> and you're like, thanks government, we're going to Red Lobster tonight, this is amazing. <laughs> I love tax time. Mm -hmm. When you pay taxes, it's totally different. When you pay taxes, they let you keep all of your money all year, and at the end, they say, you owe us 40%, which is a lot for me because I don't know what I'm paying for. I've never dialed 911. I put out all my own fires. <laughs> And I'm not saying I shouldn't have to pay any taxes, but I shouldn't have to pay as much as somebody that votes. Or, actually, <laughs> I don't vote because I don't know anything about politics, and honestly, I can't believe they would let me. Isn't that like an important job? <laughs> don't just let me pick the president, really? I don't gotta take a test. I don't need a license. You need a license to shampoo dogs in this country. <laughs> but to let me pick the president seems safe to you. <laughs> I don't know anything about politics. I've tried. I watch the news. Either I'm too stupid to understand the news or I feel like they're always lying to us. 
right? I was watching recently, this lady from the government gets on talking about the economy. She's like, we in a recession. We owe China $11 trillion. And I'm like, we? I don't owe China shit. You owe China $11 trillion. We owe Sprint $90. <laughs> Oh, shit, it's stupid, bro. Yeah, it's hilarious. You must have been roaming. <laughs> you treat kids weird, man. Let kids be kids. And they were talking about kids are out of control for sexting each other. Not out of control for sexting. They just have the technology to be as gross as we've always wished we were. When we were there, what you think you was gonna take pictures of with eight megapixels of camera? Sunsets? No. He's 12, he's gonna take pictures of his dick. It's the most interesting thing he owns. <laughs> it's not his fault. I'm sure there was people trying to sex in the 70s and 80s in their bathrooms with Polaroids and stamps. <laughs> Wait till Cheryl sees this shit in two to three business days. <laughs> Take a few generous days. People in the 20s trying to sex each other. Those cameras, like the box cameras with the, <laughs> with the black claw. <laughs> they pose for every picture like they was on money. All right, now watch the birdie. <laughs> Oldest sexton joke. Hey man, this is a funny ass guy. Yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out on him. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos, more reactions, and we'll be back. Okay.